Hello guys, in this video, we will talk about the beacon state in Mio. The beacon state is designed for multi-edit purpose. So, what are the necessary elements required by an editor for multi-edit? Okay, there are operations and places to edit. Sounds like a crap, but it is truth. Now, let's talk about both individually. For the places to edit, there are two cases. The first is some random places without regular pattern. In this case, if you are using multiple cursors, you have to create cursors one by one. And if you are using keyboard macros, you have to apply it multiple times. So here we will focus on another case that you can point out some places with a specific rule. So what is the specific rule? It is a combination of two things. The scope, which means the range of text you want to modify and the type of thing which you can treat it as a unit for modification. Email, the scope is given by uh, secondary selection. The secondary selection is something shipped within Emacs by default. It is just an overlay. It can be created by dragging with your mouse left button while holding the meta key. <coughs> There's also a command called mail grab by default bound to the uppercase G can convert current region to secondary selection. Once you have secondary selection and your cursor is located inside, the beacon state will be activated automatically. To disable, just let your cursor leaving the secondary selection or cancel secondary selection by default, press V. In model editing, one state means one key map. So in beacon state, the key map is different from the one in normal state but you can just think it is a mirror with some keys disabled. For example, in this state, the leader key map is not available. What you can do is moving your cursors by character, by line, by word. Your movements will create beacons which are fake cursors or fake regions. If you move by columns, you got fake cursors on the same column. If you do backward, you got fake cursors on the beginning of each word in the scope. It's similar to the next word. If you do mark word, you will get beacons as a fake regions on all same words. If you select a line, you will get fake regions on each line. If you select two lines, you got fake regions for each two lines. Basically, all the movements in email can be used here to create your beacons. And what's next? There are two options for you. First, you can switch to insert state via insert, append, and change. To demonstrate, let's press I for insert. Now we are in the insert state. The keyboard macro recording is started. Once you go back to normal state, the recording will be finished and this macro will be applied to all the beacons. Let's show you one more case with change. So let's mark the word, change, type something, and back to normal state. You can see all the same words in the secondary selection is changed. There's another option for complex case. You can start recording by press F3. Once recording is started, you will go back to the normal state. And you can do whatever you want. You can even create another secondary selection. You can swap it with current region. When you are done, press F4 to finish recording. And the same thing will happen to all places. Now you have seen the basics for beacon state and I hope you like it. Thank you.